Hey y'all, welcome to the Messy Studio. Come on in and see what's going on. I wasn't going to film this build because everybody seems to be more interested in my turnings, but can't help myself. When you've been married as long as I have, it doesn't take a genius to figure out what mama wants, mama gets. And in this case, mama wants a lap board. She's a teacher. Uh, she teaches high school math and she needs a lap board so that she can put it in her lap and grade papers in her recliner in the evening. I drew out a very intricate set of plans. Intricate set, right? I just took some quick measurements with her sitting in the chair, sketched it up, wrote the dimensions down. I've got most of the stuff cut and milled, but I've still got a few things left to do and we're gonna take care of the rest of that now. Got a 3 16th inch round over bit in here. I'm gonna adjust the depth. I'm gonna rip smooth over these edges. These are the bottom pieces or the uprights. Now I'll get everything sanded up and I'll be back. Let me take just a minute to talk about these. Good hearing protection. I don't remember where I found these little dudes. Maybe Amazon. But man, they do a great job. They conform to your ear canal. Pretty cool. Keeps the sound out. Keeps the sawdust out. That's important too. So, hearing protection. You only have one set of ears. I don't want to go to wearing hearing aids any earlier than I have to. Be safe. Okay, I've got these marked. I'm going to drill them and countersink them. What I'm doing is starting these so I can align these, finish my holes. I'm not striving for perfection here. I just want it, I just want it nice. It's for my baby. The screw should be strong enough, but... Not much glue. Don't not want a lot of squeeze out. Actually, I just don't want any squeeze out. Sand, 
mix up some filler and put in there. Actually, Lily, I don't want filler in there. I'm gonna use colored epoxy. I'll let that cure for an hour or so, I'll come back and sand it down, then we'll prep it for the finish. Put some stuff down to protect my table saw. Although I'm just gonna put pre-stain on right now, this will not be wouldn't hurt it, but. It's important to use pre-stain so that you avoid blotchiness. If you've ever stained a piece of pine, you've noticed that it turned out pretty blotchy and it can be very, very disheartening. Well, I discovered years ago that if you apply a pre-stain first, that blotchiness doesn't really happen. The stain finish will come out much more even. Oh, and especially if you have to use any kind of a wood filler, if you pre-stain it, it'll, it'll stain much more evenly as well. Either this pre-stain has gotten too old or somehow or another it got contaminated with another stain, which is not really possible because I've never used a brush in this can after using a stain. So I'm guessing because of how long I've had it that is what turned it this dark. But like I said, I'm gonna stain it anyway so it doesn't matter. off any excess so it'll dry faster. It says let it dry for five to ten minutes and apply your stain within two hours. Now you see why I use the red epoxy. It's a dark light contrast. It's not a stark color change contrast. I didn't think that would look good. I don't know if you've noticed, but this stain is going on a lot lighter also than if I had not put a pre-stain on it, it would have stained darker. If I wanted it darker, I could wait and let this dry for a couple of hours, come back and coat it again, but I don't really want it darker. I'm gonna let this dry overnight and come back tomorrow. And probably, yeah, I'm gonna brush it with satin poly. Got the first coat on, so I'll let this dry overnight. Anyway, I'll come back tomorrow or the next day and put another coat on. Knocking these edges the nibs down with some four ox steel wool.
wiping it down with some mineral spirits to get all the steel wool dust out of it and off of it. This will be the third coat and maybe final. Yeah, this may be the final coat because it's going on a lot more smoothly and it's not and it's covering well unlike the first two coats that really didn't. I'm not having to load the brush nearly as much. If you use a decent quality brush, the finish will level itself out. You can still leave bubbles on it. Let this side cure up for a few minutes and turn it over and finish the top. It's been a little longer than a half hour, about an hour. I've been multitasking. Long, even brush strokes. Will make a world of difference. And with that, I'm hoping I'm done. So here it is, Mama's lab desk, all done. Yeah, it took a few days, but most of that was just waiting on either glue to dry or finish to dry for multiple coats. She's already seen it when I had the first coat on it. She liked it, so. Now I'll take it up to her and she can do her thing sitting in her recliner. So thanks for watching folks. Uh, to my turning public, sorry this wasn't another turning. I will get to one of those as soon as I possibly can, I promise. It won't be soon enough for me because I've got another order. Actually two. I was asked to make a sign simply with the word smile. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. I've just got it shaped out. I've got the font that I want. I know it's going to be router carved. Yeah, I know y'all are loving that. Some of you might. So i got to get to this. And the guitar player that provides some of my background music wants me to make him basically a miniature acoustic guitar about 10, 11 inches tall, just to sit on his desk at work. So, I'm gonna go about making a miniature guitar. And I'm not just going to cut an outline in a piece of wood and, and paint it up or carve some embellishments in it. I'm actually going to make this very similar to the way they would make a real guitar. It's gonna be hollow, it's gonna have a frame, it's going to have really pretty coca bolo, uh, book matched coca bolo on the front, and something really, really nice on the back. The neck's probably going to be walnut. I haven't figured out what I'm going to what I'm going to lay down for the fretboard yet. I know for the frets I'm going to use wire. Uh, for the fretboard, I may use Texas ebony. So this is this will be one of my next projects so to me it looks like fun it's a challenge something I've not done before again I appreciate all y'all's support I really do thanks for watching come back and see us and I promise turners I, I will get another turning video up really soon y'all come back